hey guys welcome back to the channel hope this video finds you well today again my topic is wazu and i am going to configure wazu integration with slack wazu api integration so move towards the configuration on the browser you have to type wazu api integration and we are going to try multiple urls and we are going to use this one today we are going to implement wazu with slack what is slack is a cloud based collaboration platform that facilitates communicate communication and teamwork within organization the integration uses slack in coming webhook and allow security to security professional to receive real time alerts directly within designated channels to set up the integration perform the following steps enable incoming webhook create one of the slack channel follow the slack guide on incoming webhook first we are going to implement this we are going to create our slack channel using this guidance sending messages using incoming webhook getting started with incoming webhook we are going to walk through a four step if you already have <clears throat> you already done some of these things i it will be even easier that will have you posting messages using incoming webhook in just a few minutes create a slack app if you don't have one already we don't have the one already we are going to sign in or we are going to create an account for this purpose you need an work email or company email so okay i am going to use my gmail address Okay, we have uh, received the confirmation email on our this email address okay we are going to create a workspace name with wazu this will be my username i am not going add coworker by email i am going to skip this step we will name it wazu and at the end of these five steps choose a plan to get started so i am going to start with free package now what we have to do we have to create our slack app the 
app has been created successfully now what will be the next step enable incoming web hook you will be redirected to the setting page of your new app or if you are using an existing app app management dashboard from here select incoming web hooks i am going to select incoming web hooks and toggle activate incoming web hooks and we have to on this option if you already have activated well you deserve another cookie right now we are going to create an incoming web hook now that incoming web hooks are enabled the setting page should be refreshed and some additional option will be appear one of the those option is a very helpful button called add new web hook to workspace add new web hook to workspace okay but for now you will see something like this yes we have seen like this go ahead and pick and pick a channel that the app will post to to select authorize if you need to add the incoming web hook to a private channel you must first be in that channel so we are going to select the channel as we have created this channel right Now, if you need to add the incoming web hook to a private channel, you must first be in that channel. You will be sent back to the app setting where you should see a new entry under the web hook URL. Your web hook, web hook URL will look something like this. Right? It is looking like this. This is our web hook. Okay that url is your shiny new incoming web hook once that specific to a single user and a single channel if you are developing a go slack app we are not going to do that let's see how you can actually use the web hook to post a message keep it secret keep it safe your web hook url contain a secret don't share it online including via public version control repository slack activity actively search out and evokes leak secrets okay our webhook has been created url has been created now the part we have to perform is our wazu server append the configuration below to this url file on the wazu server replace webhook url with your incoming webhook so i am going to access my wazu server using cli and i have to edit this configuration file we are going to use an editor and we have successfully in the aussie configuration file we have to find this integration tag Okay, how the
we have to create this tag a newer one let's see if we find the integration tag we are going to add a new tag are going to replace the webhook tag with our newly created web webhook URL and let's read you can know you can set a JSON object with customization field using the option tag with its slash API reference to. now we have to rest after this save or configuration file we have to restart our wazoo manager The Wazoo Manager service has been restarted successfully. Now we are going to check in our Slack channel that we have received any alert or not. As you can see, I, we have received an alert from the Wazoo server on the current time and the today. Whenever the new alerts will be created that will be visible here in our slack channel this is how you can uh, integrate your wazoo server to the slack to receive alerts in real time hope you guys understood this scenario very well please like and subscribe my channel and share with your friends colleagues and students Please support me and my channel. Until then, stay blessed, stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.